What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to new video guys. Today we're actually going to be installing some M Sport parts on my 335. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've recorded. Uh, I'm trying to get more footage for you guys, some more videos. I ended up getting a new car, so that's going to be announced here very, very soon. I still have the 335, there's just another car that I got. It's a very sick car, very excited to share it with you guys. Like I said, I haven't really recorded much, so I'm going to start trying to record more. Like I said, I got that car, so very excited about that. Anyway, let's head to the car wash real quick get some b-roll for you guys and then head to the shop So I ended up picking up this M Sport steering wheel locally for a hundred bucks. It did not come with the trim, but uh, the steering wheel itself was an M Sport steering wheel for a manual car, as in there's no spot for paddle shifters. A lot of these steering wheels, they come with paddle shifters, like the M Sport ones, and it's very hard to find like manual M Sport steering wheels. The difference between the M Sport and the M3 and like the stock, this one is perforated leather. I prefer the perforated leather more than like the M3 Napa leather. I'm not sure why, I just feel like it's a lot better. It's just my own personal preference on it. Um, and this one, it's not in the best, best of shape. I don't know if you guys can see. It does have some cracking on the leather and then on the left side, it does have some wear marks as well. It's not the worst. I've definitely seen worse steering wheels out there. Considering how bad my current steering wheel is, this is definitely an upgrade. This trim, however, is off of an M3. So this is not an M Sport trim. The M Sport does not have those lines on it. It's just flat. Uh, so this is the M3 trim on an M Sport steering wheel. So that's currently what I'm going to be throwing into the car. And then let me go ahead and show you guys what else I got. All right, guys. And the other thing I got was this M Sport emergency brake e-brake boot. Um, it also has the perforated leather over here. And just for reference, this is what the stock one looks like. So it's not perforated. It's just like this textured leather. So M Sport is this one. Stock one is that one. That is the difference between them. So I'm going to be installing this as well. And I'm actually going to be also installing this. So on my car, the previous owner flipped this around so it's twisted and it's like cut and mangled and it like doesn't work properly. So I'm going to be installing this as well. M Sport brake boot and M Sport steering wheel. So I think I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the car. So in the car, it looks really bad. What it looks like right now is been kind of jank to be honest. I just haven't had time to replace it because it does take some time to take out the center console and then replace that metal bar, the actual lever itself my car is a little bit dirty right now i have some uh other parts and tools in these boxes this is what i've been rocking recently and it has like a ton of cuts on the sides and obviously it's been exposed and i had to put a piece of tape because it was cutting me every single time i was using this and so i had to put a tape to protect my finger so yeah this bar has to go we actually have to install the boot so this is the steering wheel so this is just like the base sport steering wheel does not have the perforated leather the trim is in terrible shape base trim wrapped with carbon fiber see there's a ton of wear on both sides so i'm going to go ahead and be replacing this it honestly doesn't take that long to replace the steering wheel i literally just have to pop out the airbag swap over the buttons and then literally throw in the new steering wheel the long part is going to be swapping this out first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and unplug the battery that way the airbag doesn't blow in my face anytime you mess with airbags always 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 unplug your battery first just a negative cable is good enough that way it doesn't blow up in your face. All right guys, so it turns out I was recording without audio that whole time. So uh, I might just do a time lapse on it and explain what I did. Pretty much what I did is I took out the airbag and I'll throw up the videos in sequence so you guys can kind of see what I did. So uh, to take out the airbag, I unplugged the battery. 
Then once I unplugged the battery, I came over here. I took my flathead. It's gonna be in the video. I took my flathead. I popped out the airbag. I took off some tabs. After I took off the tabs, I took off a 16 mil bolt that holds the steering wheel. And that's pretty much all I did. Um, so I guess I'll just make it a shortened version with me talking over it. Cause I honestly forgot to record the audio. Now we got the steering wheel off pretty simple now i gotta swap over these buttons into the new trim both sides on the buttons and then uh, go ahead and install the steering wheel it's a very easy process i've had multiple videos on this process in the past uh, if you want i can go ahead and link them down in the description so definitely go check out those videos if you want to know exactly how to do this um, this is more of me just replacing it real quick so let me go ahead and swap over these buttons real quick Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and swapped over the buttons onto this new trim. It looks so, so much better than the bold trim. Very, very happy with how it's turning out so far. Now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and install this trim onto the M Sport steering wheel. And then we should be able to go ahead and install the steering wheel and the airbag back on without any issues. So definitely a huge upgrade from this old worn out trim to this brand new M3 trim. Alright guys, so we got the trim on the steering wheel and it's looking so, so much better than that old steering wheel. Very, very happy with how it's turning out. Trim is in great shape. This side of the steering wheel is in great shape. This side is a little bit beat up, like I said earlier. It's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's also not the best I've ever seen. Still, it's better than this base steering wheel. Been waiting a while to actually install this. I was looking for an M Sport steering wheel, a manual one for a very long time, but I was trying to find the best deal that I could. So I feel like I found a very good deal and I'm very excited to actually install this. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw this back into the car and see how it looks. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and line this up. And you wanna make sure you line it up properly because uh, if you don't, something steering malfunction, uh, light on the dash. I can't remember exactly what light, but just make sure you line it up properly. There's lines on the, where you actually put it on. So just make sure you guys line it up. Alrighty guys, now the steering wheel is on, we are good to go. Now we can technically plug in the battery and test it out, make sure everything's good. Unfortunately, it is a little bit worn, so if I do find a better condition one, I'll swap it out, but this is the only manual M Sport steering wheel I could find for a decent price. All of them, they want so much money because most of them come with paddle shifters, so the manual ones are just harder to find because there's less manuals. Just glad I got one, honestly. So this is much better, so much better with the trim as well. Feels newer, so that is good. So now we're gonna go ahead, plug in the battery, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead as well and uh, swap out this thing right here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead now take out the center console to replace the lever like I showed you guys before. It's been a long time since I've taken out a center console, so bear with me, it might take me a little bit. All I know is that I gotta pop off the shifter. I'm gonna go ahead and do it real quick, probably put on a time lapse for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get it done. All right, guys, we got the new one in. Honestly, it took me like 45 minutes just to swap this thing out. Um, while I got the back seats out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum uh, underneath uh, before I put all the trim in, vacuum behind the seats. There's a random key underneath here, so I don't know, probably from a previous owner. But uh, yeah, pretty much everything is good to go. I just gotta vacuum it out. And then we can actually go ahead and put on the M Sport boot. But all in all, it took quite a long time and a lot of effort. I'm very sweaty right now. It's very hot in the car, uh, but it is done. Finally got it done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this out real quick, vacuum out the whole car, probably wipe it all down and then install the boot. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right guys, so we got everything put back together. The the new handle is on, so now we're ready to put the e-brake boot on, and then we're also ready to put on the uh, shift knob as well. I left it off, uh, but everything else has been put back together, um, so we're looking good. Rear is put back together as well. So yeah, literally all we're ready to do is go ahead and put on this boot, 
So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I got it right over here, super simple. Just gonna slide this up. Alrighty guys, we got it on now, finally. Before it was really janky and now it's actually looking pretty good. Like I said, it's very hot in here, so if I don't seem super enthusiastic, it's because I've been sitting in this hot car for the past hour and a half. Finally got this on. I can't believe it took me that long. I did not expect it to take me that long, but it is on now. So, now that that's on, we can pop this sucker on real quick and pop this into place. Now we can finally say we got the M Sport E brake, the M Sport shift knob, and then the M Sport steering wheel. So it is looking really, really good right now. Very, very happy with the process. Finally, the interior is pretty much complete. There's not really much else I wanna do with the interior. I'm a very OEM plus type of guy. So the fact that I have all M Sport, I'm very happy with. I might, might, might go with the ZHP shift knob because I do prefer the ZHP shift knob over the M Sport one and this one is very worn. I don't know if you guys can see, but the leather is very very worn on this one so i might be getting a brand new zhp shift knob uh, for this we'll see we'll see how it goes when the time comes i'll go ahead and install that but for now we got the m sport one which still does look pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and clean these carpets because they were super dirty so i'm gonna go ahead and clean them real quick and then once i clean them i'll go ahead and get some b-roll for you guys and then we'll end the video there uh but yeah we got a lot done in this video finally fixed this handle right here so now it's good to go the full M Sport quadruple. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but we got everything M Sport. We even got the M Sport door seals now. I installed on a separate video. So now we got all four things that can be M Sport. And then this is also M3 style, but uh, pretty much M Sport for the most part. So you already know we got the save a manual. Slammed if you do, slammed if you don't. Anyway, let me go ahead and clean these carpets and then I'll get some B roll for you guys. Alright guys, so we finally got everything in, finally cleaned up everything. We got all the M Sport parts now, so very happy with how this feels and looks. That being said guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Make sure to check me out on Instagram, uh, I'll leave it right over here. Make sure to subscribe down below. I really appreciate all of you guys who support my channel. I know I haven't been as active, but uh, when I do post, I try to give the best content I can. Just make sure to like the video. Remember guys to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys in the next video. Hey. Uh, back on deck on my fly uh, back. Really on, really on my uh, really on. Pay some respect to my mindset. Hey, uh, blowing smoke, catch a contact. Neighbors looking at me while I'm recording, it's so funny. He's like staring me down like, what are you doing? <laughs>